A 12-year-old girl and a 39-year-old man were killed in Japan's Greater Tokyo area on Tuesday after they were attacked by a knife-wielding man at a bus stop. The stabbing incident has also injured 17 other girls, three of whom were in critical condition, while one woman in her 40s received severe injuries. According to authorities, the victims were pronounced dead after they were taken to a nearby hospital. The attack occurred during the busy early morning commute as workers headed to their offices and children to school in Kawasaki, a city south of Tokyo. The girls were believed to be attacked while waiting for a school bus near Noborito station. A man in his 50s who was in police custody but unconscious after stabbing himself in the neck prior to his doings died in the hospital. Police also found two knives at the scene of the attack. So far, there was no immediate details on the motive of the knife man. After the incident, a steady stream of children were escorted away from Caritas by their parents, who had been told by school officials not to talk to reporters. Following this, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe voiced strong anger over what he described as a harrowing attack. The rampage was a rare attack in the country with one of the lowest rates of violent crime in the developed world. Earlier was the state visit with U.S. President Donald Trump, which wraps up with the U.S. leader visiting an American military base outside of Tokyo.